What is good up nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock, what you should be looking out for for the future. I'm also going to break down what's going on with the overall market and how this may affect AMC when I do predict to happen over the next couple of days to AMC in the markets. Now, before I break anything down about this though, before I get into any more details, I do have to mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Make sure you take none of this as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire Ape community as a whole. And the last thing is, if you guys can, please check out the Mumu link down below and into the description. If you sign up for Mumu, the link down below and deposit $100 into the account, you're guaranteed 7 free stocks. And 5 out of those 7 free stocks could be a free AMC share. It's a limited time offer. The offer ends in just 4 days. Check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. AMC is up 1.79% for the day as of right now. And the real question is, what is she about to do? Well, AMC did form a base around this $4 level. And overall, the MACD is slowly getting tighter and tighter, meaning that AMC is actually gaining some strength as time goes on. However, this 4.63 to about 4.75 zone has been some resistance for AMC slowing her down. So if AMC tries to push up a little bit more, she could actually end up breaking above this and getting a retest of the 20 moving average getting into the $5 zone. But in order for that to happen, it's also going to depend on the overall market. Now, I want to note that AMC did push up a little bit today, but overall, the volume is only 20 million. And what tends to happen during times like this, when we have very low volume, this tends to actually mark the times in which AMC gets tighter and she's about to make a much bigger move very, very soon. So there is going to most likely be a big move coming especially considering the fact that we are actually getting closer and closer to the big decision. The next court hearing involving the whole AMC, you know, reverse stock split and the ape conversion. And in my opinion, this in essence will actually affect AMC. Now, what's important about it is once this is actually reflected in the share price, it's going to have a very, very nuanced reaction. In the beginning, when the announcement was made about this decision, AMC actually ended up tanking very hard. A lot of this could have been because of shorts just trying to pile in. Also, there could have been some selling pressure that played a role because historically reverse stock splits are not necessarily the best of things for stocks. Stocks oftentimes do this and companies do this because they want to make the share price go higher overall. It really shows signs of weakness in the share price. AMC has been trading at a low value. That's part of why Adam Aaron is announcing it. He also wants to do the reverse stock split so that in the future, Going into like many, many years, he could actually, maybe not many years, maybe many months or maybe a year now from now. But anyways, in the future, he plans on essentially doing more and more stock splits. Why? So that AMC could raise more liquidity during a potential recession. That's why Adam Aaron has been working very hard to raise liquidity for AMC because he's well aware of the recession that's coming. But anyways, I want to talk about some more technicals. Uh, I was just going off on a tangent about this whole situation. We are getting closer to it and AMC share price performance may actually improve as we approach the month of April during the big hearing that's coming out. But until then, 56% of, uh, of AMC's volume happened to be short volume relative to its price. Once again, making up more and more selling pressure uh, going into like last week. And so this week, I do believe we could see a big decrease in it. There's not a whole lot going on with the options chain, but what is important is the fact that the cost to borrow is up to about 214%, another big spike in the cost to borrow. This tells us that it's becoming more and more difficult for shorts to continue to borrow those AMC shares and to short AMC. And we could even see the share price perform at least somewhat thanks to this. Also notice how as today went on, we actually started to see more and more of these shares uh, they, they were just basically burning through them in the very beginning. They did print out more, borrow more, and overall just drops pretty quickly. So it's becoming a little bit more difficult than before to borrow those AMC shares. Now, as far as the technicals go, uh, AMC has base right here in her price price ratio, which tells me AMC is most likely going to perform either with the market or maybe even outperform it if we do get another big catalyst. So please be ready for that. Maybe, maybe, maybe the announcement about the reverse stock split or some big news about it could improve the price performance. I just don't know for sure just yet. But we are starting to show some signs that AMC wanted to base around four and she wants to bounce a bit. Citigroup is saying to sell your AMC shares. That's no surprise as they are affiliated with lots of shorts out there. AMC did actually beat 
on earnings to some degree. I really believe we have another strong earnings to come over the next couple of months. And Tuesdays tend to be slow days. We're only green 46% of the time, so not the best of signs right now. And finally, we saw about right here, there's actually a decrease in the amount of shares shorted last Friday at about 2 million. Once again, this is just the legal amount of shares shorted. This does not account for naked shorting, but we are seeing less, less, less shorting, at least as of right now, which tells me we might see AMC actually try to continue to push up. But this will depend heavily on the overall market. As I mentioned in previous videos, SPY is stuck between the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average. In my opinion, if SPY gets rejected off this 50 moving average and we fail to break above it tomorrow or maybe beyond, we're most likely going to see SPY fail and come all the way back down to like the 390 zone either tomorrow or by Wednesday. I know it's unfortunate. I know you don't want to hear that. But this is what the chart is telling me if we get this rejection right here where the 50 moving average is, the yellow line right here. In my opinion, it really what SPY does will depend on this uh, instance because if I hide my drawings, I just want to show you guys there is a possible right here. There is a possible left shoulder, then a head right here that formed. It is a real possibility. And what could be happening is we might see a pump try to form that right shoulder to about 407 or so. It's a possibility. I'm not necessarily promising it, but if we do break above the 50 moving average, we're most likely going to do that. And if that happens, AMC is going to get a pump. Now, if we fail, and what else could happen is we might just continue to remain in this like trading range for another like week or so. We may not get the breakout for a while. So I just want everyone to be prepared. Uh, it may be a little boring, but what I'm thinking, and this is just what I think might happen for the week, I think there's going to be another fake out. I, I think the most likely thing is the market makers are going to try to push the market down for like Tuesday and Wednesday, maybe even parts of Thursday, all the way down here to about 390 or so. And then we're going to react to PCE. My guess is they're going to try to pump the markets by Friday because there's so much shorting going on. I can actually pull up the, my SPY chart to just show you guys what I'm talking about. When you look at SPY, you're going to notice that we have about 1.6 million options expiring on Friday. This is telling me that not 1.6 million options, 1.6 million puts. Sorry about that. But this is super important because max pins at 395 with a 2.6 put to call ratio. PCE is also coming out on this day, so I don't know how it's going to play out. But the odds favor, the market makers might try to pump the markets again to trick as many people as possible. The odds favor that, all right? So what that tells me is we might pull back going into tomorrow and Wednesday and then maybe balance by Thursday and Friday, maybe get a big balance on Friday just to destroy shorts, just like what they did last week. And we may be stuck between this range for another week or so before we do get the breakout in one of the directions. They may even try to pump the markets harder by the time we get to Friday to form that right shoulder. I just don't really know for sure as we are kind of stuck. But the VIX is actually approaching a very important support. We're actually very close to 20 around the 20 area, which is where the VIX bounced the last time. If it does bounce off 20, we're actually at 20.6 right now. This could be bearish for the markets. So we'll just have to wait and see what the VIX does, but the odds do favor the market cooling off just a little bit. Uh, maybe we're going to get another rally by like Friday. It is possible. That's just what my gut is telling me. I just want everyone to be prepared for anything. But for AMC, what am I seeing for ticker symbol AMC? Well, AMC, once again, based around $4. If you're bearish on AMC, you need to see your break below 4.5. If that doesn't hold, there's the 4.2 zone followed by $4 flat. Those are going to be support zones. If you break one, then the next one could actually come. Now, if you're bullish on AMC, we need to see AMC break 4.64, then 4.75. And if she breaks both of those, she's going to fly all the way up to the 20 moving average to 5.25. Why is that important? Because you might think, oh, it's only 5.25. Well, that's a pretty big move. That's almost a 10% move from where we are right now. It, it's more than a 10% move, actually. So what I'm essentially seeing is I actually believe that AMC might try to push up into the morning, maybe around this 4.6 zone. A very strong resistance is there. She might get rejected around there. Come down a bit if she fails to break this resistance that I'm talking about. And I'm thinking she might come down for like 
uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, just a little bit for this week, and then maybe get a pump at the end of the week again, and maybe try to retest this 4.7 area. So kind of boring price action, maybe a pullback for tomorrow and Wednesday, followed by a nice rally for the end of the week. That's what I think is most likely going to happen. And I just want everyone to be prepared just in case. So that's what I'm predicting for AMC. And I just want to note that for the time being, for the next couple of weeks, you know, who knows how long it's going to be boring. AMC is going to be boring. The market's going to be boring. There's not a whole lot going on. But I kid you not, over time, if we get that crash, this high cost to borrow is going to make AMC primed for a short squeeze. And I believe she's going to squeeze, whether it's the crash that causes it. If it's not the crash, it's going to be the market recovery. But she is going to squeeze in the future, most likely. We just have to be patient. AMC has better fundamentals now than what it actually had, you know, many months ago, even like many years ago. And yet AMC was able to break all time highs a few years ago when fundamentals were not as strong. That tells me that one day she will break all time highs and we're going to be here together when it finally happens. I'm not leaving you guys. I'm like a lot of people out there in this community that just left. It is their life, their choice. They could do what they want. And I respect that. I just want to note that I'm committed. Unlike a lot of people, I'm still committed. I'm still here, and we're going to be here together. I know making daily videos may be uh, a little bit tiring for a lot of people. Sometimes I kind of sound like I'm just repeating similar things. That's because there's not always a whole lot to say about solely uh, AMC on a day-to-day -day basis. But sometimes big things could happen. I'm always going to be prepared just in case. So I'm just here for you guys. Once again, we're in this together. And when the share price improves, it's going to be much more exciting. And I believe it will happen. We just have to be patient and we're going to stick together. I thank you all so much for listening. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon because the long-term future is still incredibly bright. And peace out.